Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Bar and Four Poppy, I'm your host, Drip Coach, and let's jump right into it. So, today the video is going to be more of an organic kind of me weaving through a bunch of uh, historic evidence, I guess you could say, and trying to piece this together again for the future potential uh, investors in any of the Forex Shark ecosystem projects and hopefully adding some value to the DYOR or do your own due diligence because of the lack of transparency as well as coverage over the recent months for these related projects. So we're going to kind of unravel the mystery behind probably the single handed most responsible entity for FUD within the drip ecosystem or all Forex Shark projects. Single-handedly, the biggest butter in the entire ecosystem. And I'm sure you'll be able to figure out who it is once we actually kind of break this down. So first things first, let's clarify the term FUD, standing for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. These three elements can significantly influence the perception and subsequently the value of crypto tokens. Fear is the apprehension about potential losses or negative outcomes. Uncertainty, the unpredictability of a project's future due to a lack of clarity. And doubt is skepticism about the project's authenticity, leadership, or utility, or even future as well, I would say. And that probably ties in there as well. But how does a single person contribute to so much FUD? Well, let's take a deeper look into this. So now for about, oh, just over three years. So I had to go back and do my history and figure out when all these projects came up. So I have this video on my channel here. I'm not gonna cover it again, but getting started in the Forex Shark ecosystem. This was put out over a year ago, May 18th, 2022, where I did a deep dive into his first projects covering Grimm and Grim Finance and the Silo and B Reap and Reap and all this stuff to show you a history of all that. And then I'm tying that in because now we can take a look at this and then see a common trend throughout all of these projects. So this is B Reap. I've shown this before, but I want you to understand how the FUD plays into this because one major aspect would be the chart itself. So these are there's more than half a dozen projects and or tokens within the Forex Shark ecosystem that all of the charts look exactly the same. So three and a half years in, and I believe the future will look the same for seats and cubes based off of what we've seen historically. So again, this ties into single-handedly the one person responsible for the most FUD in the ecosystem. And if you haven't realized it, it is literally Forex himself. Forex Shark is the king of FUD for only, for his tokens, for his ecosystem. Because if you look at these three de definitions, um, he single-handedly causes the most apprehension about potential loss or negative outcomes because of the stuff he says and doesn't deliver on. Also single-handedly the most unpredictable relying the project's future and lack of clarity, as well as skepticism about project authenticity, as well as definitely the leadership or the utility for the project. So again, I want you guys to see the history of all these tokens so that you can have this to kind of um, use it against potential future investment ideas. So this should be part of your thesis because we've seen this happen now for, like I said, three and a half years going on four years uh, come May of next next year. And this is because we've constantly gotten tons of AMAs over the years, and I have quite a few of them on my channel. But if you've listened to any of these AMAs, you will very quickly hear a common theme regarding the roadmaps of projects, and it's that things are 100% done. And then we fast forward and months and months and delays and then things are actually not done or literally the day of a launch, things get shelved and uh, a new idea comes in and then we don't get any updates. And even as of this video, we still have no updates. Had some exciting news on the 20th. It is now November 1st. No additional announcements. And yet Animal Farm V3 has been done for about four months. 
So again, this is a common narrative that leads directly to all of the actual uncertainty within the project, as well as the authenticity, transparency, and leadership. So again, a common theme. So if you are thinking about investing in any future Forex Shark projects, please, by all means, do your own research, do your own due diligence, and don't just watch the Moon Boys and the hype. Look at the history and make an informed decision because I think more people are wrecked than those that got rich. So as we know, within crypto, most of us value transparency, consistency, honesty, timely updates, and the reassurance to us as investors that helps foster trust. Sadly, this is where Forex seems to falter on a continual basis. The lack of clear communication transparency amplifies the FUD leading to negative charts and dwindling trust, which we can see now a lot of people literally getting out of the drip faucet and moving over to the kitchen sink a new developer that just popped up on the scene to support drip and um, seems to be doing a much better job than forex with forex's team of dozens and dozens of uh, developers and marketers and hustle man matt has literally three people on a team so i guess the best thing for me to say in this is please do your own research, see what other videos and stuff is still out there. You can go back and look at. I got an entire uh, playlist on uh, Forex Shark AMAs and then a bunch of videos. I can't tell you which ones to watch and definitely don't need to watch all of them. But if you're thinking of investing, especially this is a, a call to arms for new people sitting on the sidelines or if this pops up on the radar because of a bull run or whatever, be very, very careful about the narrative you're being fed and look behind the scenes. I'll probably have to do another video about propaganda because that is a common theme we're seeing right now. And lots of people are no longer covering Drip and Animal Farm, rightfully so. It is pretty much dead. But because of the lack of coverage, that just means that new people will become um, used or fleeced the same way the old ones did because they just kind of got burnt out and stopped covering it. So then new people won't have any data to go off of and then they'll be led right down as lambs to a slaughter based off of the lack of information and lack of coverage and then only hearing a couple of bullish AMAs or that sound bullish at least, especially if you're first time hearing it. So I'm simply making this as a recap and a reminder, check the charts and look for the receipts. It's all out there. The transparency, the lack of transparency, the lack of the ability to hold two timelines and stay consistent and keep people in the know is a common theme and all of the charts look exactly the same. So not a single one of his charts is up and to the right. And it's not because it's a bull market or bear market. Don't let that narrative fool you because it started May of 2020. And here we are again, already into a bull run of the next crypto cycle and coming up on the halving in about six months from now. And still his charts all look the same, even though he's trying to whitewash them and come up with a new narrative for seats and cubes for black rock finance or was it black black cube finance sorry black cube finance but my projection is that the chart will look like this it will take off here and then it will nosedive as has done all of these projects all right hope that provides some value some insight some clarity and some uh additional additional pieces to your dyor toolkit if it did, smash that HBO special, help a brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below, and until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.